Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Check this out, man. I forgot to speak on this uh, topic on this particular video, but I'll speak on it now. You know, I'm just going to grab some uh, oranges and, you know, oranges and water and shit for work and shit since I have to stand on my feet for pretty much 10 to 12 hours a day. But um, anyway, man, um, check this out. Um, yeah, um, in case you guys didn't know, uh, it was these two rappers, uh, 22 Savage and 21 Savage. You know, uh, apparently 22 Savage challenged 21 Savage to get on the undercard of the Chris Brown, you know, Soldier Boy fight. And he said, let's fight for the name Savage. Now, 22 Savage was all in on, he said, you know, he made videos saying, let's have a one-on-one, -on -one, let's fight, you know, you know, let's just get this over with. And then a couple of days later, it was looking like 21 Savage was going to accept. But then he came back with a video saying, I'm not going to get, you know, publicity and no shit like that. And then he came with the most sucker line that anybody could say, oh, I don't fight. So, a.k.a. basically, he's saying he can't fight. See, I'm going to tell you something, man. Um, when I used to hear niggas in the street say, oh, man, I ain't fight no nigga, man. I'll shoot a nigga. That's a nigga who can't fight. That's a nigga, like, if you beat his ass, he going to try to come back and shoot you instead of just, you know, squaring up and shit. Niggas say that shit because they can't fight. And they one of them dudes that... They don't want to have nobody walking around saying that they beat their ass, so they'd rather just shoot the motherfucker instead of just going one-on-one -on -one with them. Man, that's really some coward shit, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these youngsters, man, changed the game and shit because a lot of these motherfuckers, you know, they didn't want to fight fair. They didn't want to have a one-on-one -on -one because they was too embarrassed to just fight. It's like this, man. If you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. Like I, like I'm saying, man. You come back stronger the next time. But man, when I heard Twenty One Savage say that shit, man, that he just sounded like a straight sucker, man. And I'm gonna tell y'all, any of y'all young niggas that's listening to this and y'all ride with that shit, y'all some suckers too, man. Straight up, man. Cause ain't no, ain't no real nigga don't say no shit like that, man. A real nigga ain't no motherfucker who shoot, who shoot anybody that he have a problem with, man. Like I said, man. Gunplay is a last resort, man, in the streets. That's like if no other option works. Now, if a motherfucker shoot at you and you got a strap on you, yeah, you got to clap back. You, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker leave you no choice. But if a motherfucker on some, you know, let's, you know, scrap, let's put him up. You know what I'm saying? Go one-on-one. -on -one, and the dude asks you to go one-on-one -on -one with him and you say no, man, because you scared what motherfuckers gonna think about you like losing a fight man you still a coward you still a sucker and y'all young niggas can't justify that shit man i mean that was just some straight punk shit man it is what it is man and if any of you young niggas on that type of level and you on that type of shit y'all full of shit just like that nigga man you know what i'm saying what it is he just he ain't sure of himself because that's what it come down to now, if he would have just said, man, I ain't finna fight, I ain't even thinking about you because I ain't trying to get, you know, publicity by saying my name. But then when he came with the, see, some motherfuckers, they can sink their own shit when they just talk a little too much. Now, that still would have been a little big suspect if he would have just said, you know, I ain't trying to get, you know, publicity, you know, off me and shit. And you need to quit talking about me because that's what you want me, to, you know, you want me to respond and all that type of shit. But when he came with the, oh, I don't fight shit. You know what I'm saying? That just showed me where he was as a nigga. Because I didn't heard that shit before. You know, whenever you hear a nigga say, Oh, man, I don't fight niggas, man. I will pop a nigga. I don't fight. You know what I'm saying? He he already showing you that he a coward-ass nigga, man. That he a nigga that's scared to take a ass whooping. That's scared to go one-on-one -on -one because he worried about niggas saying, Oh, so-and-so, he got whooped. I mean, that happened, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... I mean, it is what it is, man. If you get whooped, man, like I said, you know, regroup, retrain, ask the nigga for a rematch. I'm pretty sure the nigga, if he a real nigga, he'll give you a rematch in the streets and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. But that's all I got to say about that, man. I'm out.